It just might work. Now let's get these three plucky kids into outer space. Ian, Sandy, Tyrone. Yeah, yeah. How are you holding up? Can't take it anymore! Help to you, the bathroom! Keep going! But Ian, I really gotta go! If you can't go with a few extra million dollars, you might as well tell everyone on Earth that they're doomed! Crank it up, Doctor! We've got a planet to save! <laughs> <laughs> Who knew the end of the world could be so funny? <laughs> oh, boy! The annual school fair! This year, I'm gonna win the biggest stuffed animal at the ring toss. I can't wait to get my hands on some of those mini donuts. I'm gonna go on all the rides. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. <laughs> what are you talking about? I love the rides. That may be, but your stomach sure doesn't. Remember last year? <laughs> <laughs> Remind me never to lend you my camera again. Fine. Maybe I have a little motion sickness problem, but I'm gonna find a cure in time for the fair. <laughs> Very funny, Dennis. There was nothing in the weather forecast about a 100% chance of chunder storms. <laughs> I've gotta cure my motion sickness and fast. Maybe this online medical site can help. Tell me your symptoms now. Queasy stomach, loss of balance, Frequent regurgitation. You might have bubonic plague, motion sickness, or male pattern baldness. Motion sickness? You have selected motion sickness. You can try not moving at all, moving a lot until your symptoms subside, or purchasing a toupee. Moving a lot until my symptoms subside? Why didn't I think of that? Because you are not a computerized doctor. Hey, Ian. How's my favorite littlest brother? <laughs> Not buying it. Want to help me pull a prank on Mom and Dad? No. Great. Here's the plan. We're going to clean the whole house while they're working. When they come home, they won't know what hit them. <laughs> that is your lamest attempt to trick me into doing your chores ever. I'm insulted that you think I would fall for such an obvious scam. <laughs> Dips on cleaning the bathroom! Aw, oh, no fair! Oh, Mom and Dad are gonna break! You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You'd think so, but no. What's the scam? The blood clots, only the best band on Earth are coming to town. Surprising Mom and Dad with a clean house will guarantee that I get to see that concert. And you thought you could trick me into helping you. I guess I'll just have to go with plan B. <sighs> Give me noogies until I obey. Actually, I was gonna bribe you with this cake, but I like your idea better. Start cleaning, or else. Aww. If only there was some way to incorporate the drudgery of housework with the thrill of trying to cure my motion sickness. Maybe there is. Goodbye, motion sickness! <laughs> What 
are you doing? Curing my motion sickness. Ugh. Oh, the kitchen's a mess. You've wrecked the plan. Clean it up before Mom and Dad get home. Boys, we're home. What happened in here? Kyle Kelly, this is all your fault. But Ian... But Ian, nothing. You're the oldest. You're supposed to be in charge. You did this on purpose. I'll get you for this. I'll get you for that, too! No, Dennis, I don't know any words that rhyme with comet. How's it going? Ralph! <laughs> Very funny. Hello, Ian. Are you here to make fun of me too, Grace? I would never make fun of you, Ian Kelly. I want to help you. Uh, are you sure this is gonna work? Do you want to cure your motion sickness or not? Uh, yeah, but... Then trust me. The trick is to get you spinning so fast, you don't have time to become sick. Once your body gets used to such a high speed, the school fair ride will be child play. Ready? <laughs> I'm free. Yeah! Did it work? <laughs> nice going, doofus. <laughs> I have never been so embarrassed in my life. Ian, just forget about the fair. Yeah, there's always next year. Or you could always stick to kitty rides. Thanks, Grace. I solve problems. That's what I do. Well, maybe I'll get lucky in the school grounds or, oh, I don't know, a flood or something, and it'll get so muddy that they'll just have to cancel the fair, and then it won't mock me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cory. How's my favorite little brother? I can't believe you tried to trick me into doing all that housework so that you could go to some lame concert. If you help me paint the rec room for Mom and Dad, I'll take you to the concert with me. Really? Oh, awesome! Here, get started. Okay. Wait a minute. This isn't another trick, is it? Uh, no. Great! Hey, Grace, Dennis, Andy. Ian, how could you? How can I what? Hmm. Guys, what's going on? Ian, tell us it wasn't you. It wasn't me? Wait, what didn't I do? See for yourself. <gasps> no! You maniacs! My gift shop souvenir! You maniacs! Uh, Ian, I was talking about that. Do you know how much it will cost to drain that field in time for the fair? Principal McCammon, I know this looks bad, but I assure you, I didn't do it. The evidence against you is overwhelming, Ian. Exhibit A, your devious plan on your personal letterhead. Hmm, things to do. Purchase hair gel, cancel magazine subscription, flood school field. This is a forgery, but I do need more hair gel. Exhibit B. Your monogrammed wrench used to manually activate the sprinkler system and flood the backfield. And then there's this. That's not me. It's someone in a disguise. A handsome disguise, but a disguise nonetheless. You have an answer for everything. Answer this. What happens to the boy who floods the backfield? <laughs> he gets an A in gardening? Mm -mm. Banned from the school fair? That's a total bummer, E. I don't see the problem here. If you can't go, you won't get sick on any rides. Everybody wins. Except for my reputation. Don't you get it? I was framed. And I won't rest until I solve this groovy mystery and clear my name. Who's with me? We'll start by creating a psychological profile of the culprit, just like they do in all the best police dramas. What do we know about him? Or her? We know he flooded the backfield. And we know he used your monogram wrench. 
And he used your letterhead to plan the flood. You know he looked like you. It was you! No, it wasn't. <gasps> but I know who it was. <sighs> there he is. Public enemy number one. The prime suspect. <laughs> He blames me because he can't go to the Blood Clot concert. He's got access to my letterhead and monogrammed wrench. Wait, we're talking about Kyle? His idea of revenge is an atomic wedgie. Sandy's right. I think you need more evidence. Or a confession. I'm gonna secretly get him to admit his crime on tape. Ready? Ready. But don't raise any red flags. He can't know that you're trying to get him to confess. Be subtle and smooth. Got it. Subtle and smooth. Subtle and smooth. Hey. Confess! You did it, didn't you? You're the architect of this insidious little plot! You flooded the field to get back to me for what happened in the kitchen! Admit it! Admit it! Oh yeah, the kitchen. I forgot about that. that again especially me okay it's not kyle maybe it was randall wolfenstein evil cousin of famed horror film director Werner wolfenstein he's had it in for me ever since i broke up his phony film camp in jail i beat ivan ivanovich at the city chess championships he moved maybe it's local punk band gob on tour Maybe it's Dr. Destruction, my sworn arch nemesis and the leader of foe, the Fraternal Order of Evil. It's not Dr. Destruction, Ian. How can you be so sure? Because he doesn't exist. Then maybe it's someone who's intent on keeping me from finding the culprit. Someone like you! <laughs> Did I solve the groovy mystery? It all makes sense now. That's it. I'm going home. I don't have to take this. You can solve this mystery on your own, Ian Kelly. And for the record, it isn't groovy. It isn't groovy at all. I don't need her. Tyrone, buddy! Where are you going? Sorry, E, but if you're desperate enough to accuse Sandy, pretty soon you'll be desperate enough to accuse me. And I don't have an alibi. Dude. Dude, totally. Dude, dude. Wait. That's the sound of a key hitting the front door lock. Mom and dad are home. Dude, later. <laughs> Boys, we're home! <gasps> Kyle, what are you doing? I'm painting the rec room. Hey, I painted the... <laughs> <gasps> you did this for us? I know one son who's going to be enjoying the Blood Clot concert this weekend, as soon as he finishes painting this room. You can count on me, Dad. <clears throat> Didn't you tell him I'm going to the concert with you? Ooh, I forgot. I could go tell him, but somebody's got to finish painting this room. <sighs> no, it's better if you go talk to Dad. I'll finish painting. Too easy. The only way I'm gonna solve this groovy mystery is to find real evidence. The only way to find real evidence is to think like the culprit. Be the bad guy. Be the bad guy. If I want to flood the field, I need to get into the school. Aha! Footprints. Size six. I'm on the right track. <laughs> Be the bad guy. Be the bad guy. I walk down this hallway, past that surveillance camera, to this sprinkler room. But I discover the door is locked. What am I gonna do? I use the garbage can to boost myself up to the air vent. I stop here for a quick snack. Once inside the sprinkler room, I open the valve, flood the field, and head for home. 
the perfect crime. And you would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for this meddling principal. Suspended? For three days? Flooding the field once was bad enough, but to try a second time... I didn't do it! Do you have to suspend him? Maybe he could wash all the chalkboards in the school. Oh, oh, or write an essay. Oh, yeah, like that ever works. No, my mind is made up. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be so hasty, Principal McCammon. I find it's better to make a big decision after a nice, relaxing hot rock massage at Kelly's Spa and Keyboards. Oh, and what's this? A free coupon? Wait, this isn't mine? I guess I'll just have to leave it on this table and hope that the rightful owner finds it. <laughs> Are you trying to bribe me? Yes. Yes, I am. Good. There is one other option. If Ian will apologize to the entire school, I won't suspend him. I won't apologize for something I didn't do. Then my hands are tied. Time to go book my massage. <laughs> oh, this is all my fault. You flooded the field? Can! We've been so busy working, we've let our son turn into a juvenile delinquent. You think I'm guilty? I can't believe this. Isn't anyone even going to ask me whether or not I did it? Well, I didn't. Man, realizing your parents don't believe you is the worst punishment. Well, a little manual labor will put you on the right track, young man. So during your suspension, you'll be working at the spa. Yes, yeah, spoke too soon. <laughs> that punishment's way worse. Ian has been suspended <gasps> and is going to work here. I want you all to make sure that Ian is busy all day. Who has a job for him? Mm. Eating homemade cookies made with love isn't a chore, Grandma Mensky. <laughs> Neither is giving you a basket full of hugs. Mm. Oh, get him here. I'll find a wee lad something to do. <laughs> 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 Ian, where have you been? I can't spend another minute in that spa. Principal McCammon gave me a choice, suspension or apologize. I'm taking the apology. You can't apologize, E. You're innocent. No one believes me. They will. We found proof. An Ian mask. You kept looking for clues? Thanks for not quitting on me, guys. Oh, we quit a long time ago. Tyrone stumbled on it on the way to the bathroom. But now we can prove you're innocent. It's not enough to prove I'm innocent. I have to find out who's guilty. What is the one thing this evidence has in common? It all points to you as a suspect. Tyrone's right. You have size six feet, you love galaxy nut bars. And not to mention the wrench, the letterhead, the... That's it! This was never about flooding the field. It was about blaming me for flooding the field. Why? To get me banned from the school fair. Who'd want to do that? Probably someone Ian threw up on. Hmm. Cool. <gasps> We've had proof all this time! <laughs> Let's go to the fair and clear Ian's name! And get some of those mini donuts. You can have all the mini donuts you want, Tyrone. All I want is justice. And maybe a hot dog. Needs another coat of paint. Uh, but I, I've painted it five times already, and the concert's tonight! And these tickets would reward for painting this room, and it doesn't look painted to me. If you don't finish painting it properly, you don't get to go. Simple math. <sighs> what will I do with this other ticket? Hmm, I guess I'll take my lady friend Jessica. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get ready for the concert. If it makes you feel better, I'll get you a t-shirt. You want one more cut of paint? I'll give you one more cut of paint, Kaya. I'd like to welcome everyone to the ninth annual school fair. Yeah! Now, before I officially open the midway... I have something to say. I know you 
all think I flooded the field, but I was framed, and now I know who framed me. Woo! I'm gonna give the person who really flooded the field a chance to confess before I reveal their true identity. This is your last chance. Fine. Get it, Sandy. <laughs> But, uh, he's getting away. Not if I can help it. My concert tickets? <laughs> Why did you do it, Dennis? I did not do it on purpose. Keep it clean, mister. <laughs> Well, guess what, Dennis? An apology isn't good enough. Yes, it is. Dennis, you are forgiven. Uh. But, but... Now, Ian, it's the same deal I offered you. Apologize and all is forgiven. I'm sorry, Principal Bill, but that simply isn't fair. Apology accepted. Huh? But, uh, I, I didn't apologize. I didn't do anything. Don't sweat it, Ian. Yeah, look on the bright side. You chased Dennis on all those rides, and you didn't get sick. Hey, you're right. My motion sickness is gone. I'm cured. I'm... Uh-oh. Lights! Camera! Inside my brain! 